Hey, welcome to Lemon River Outdoors. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take deer fat and render it into deer tallow. Okay, so you're gonna need some supplies to get started with this project. Of course, you're gonna need some deer fat. I like to source this from a deer I harvest. So I'm gonna pull that off the back straps and the hind quarters is mostly where a lot of the fat that comes from on this and some of the rib cage. You're gonna need some tools like a knife, cutting board, potato smasher, and a good spoon spatula type implement. I like to use a cast iron pot. I dedicate this just to the tallow so I don't contaminate it or get a funny taste in something I'd cook with later. You're gonna need some kind of heat source. I'm using a simple electric single burner stove. You're also gonna need somewhere to store the tallow after you're done, so a good mason jar. Uh, also a funnel to get it in. I made this out of a top of a one gallon milk jug. And you're gonna need something to filter it out, which I just use cheesecloth. First step is to cut up the deer fat. I like to cut this up in about inch by inch cubes or smaller as I'm going through. Also, I'm gonna pick out any meat or anything that's not really the fat substance while I'm going through this. Okay, once everything's cut up, I'm gonna put it on a heat source. I'm gonna set my electric stove to about a medium heat. Um, you don't wanna do this too fast, you don't wanna do it too slow. Uh, once everything heats up, you'll have a nice rolling. It's pretty much a two hour process. You're gonna cook it and let it render down and just, you're pretty much boiling off any of the water and you're just melting it out of the gristle that will be remaining in the end. Of course, you're stirring it every once in a while, picking out the pieces of, of fat that are pretty much used up. They get more like a pork rind consistency. They're dried up or crispy. Uh, and just keep stirring. That's the big thing. You gotta keep stirring this the whole way through. Every once in a while, you wanna take that potato smasher and smash down the hunks of fat. That'll help the rendering process move along faster. About halfway through this, you can see there's a good amount of liquid in there. And again, I'm pulling out any pieces that have rendered out fully in that pork rind consistency. Getting here close to the end of having the fat rendered out, I'm gonna set up my jarring system or moving it over to the jar. So I'm gonna take that cheesecloth, cut it into strips, and I'm gonna make it three layers thick and then place it over top of the funnel. I secure it with some paper clips just so the cheesecloth doesn't fall in while I'm using this. Um, use any kind of funnel. I just, I have these milk jugs. I can make it that's just all disposable then. Works out for me. So now it's time to start really scooping out all the chunks of deer fat that's still remaining that hasn't liquefied. This is, there's to a point where it's not gonna really liquefy anymore and the juice really isn't worth the squeeze anymore. I'm gonna smash some down, try to, get as much of the liquid as I can out of it. Then I'm just gonna strain it out and what we have left is the usable tallow. And the three layers of cheesecloth really helps it filter out and it doesn't hold too much back. Um, 
and it works out pretty well. Here's the remaining pieces of, of fat. Again, it looks like pork rinds almost, and that's our liquid gold there, our usable tallow for any of the projects in the future. Again, I make soap with it, I make bird feed with it, make emergency candles out of it, and fire starters. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is helpful. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to Lemon River Outdoors. We'll see you on the next video.